What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from My Gadgets World and I hope you all are having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the M2 SSD that I installed in my uh, beta version of the uh, PlayStation 5 and now I have the beta 3.0. If you remember, we started with beta 2.0 and now I got the update and you can see on the top bottom corner right there, I just installed it and I wanna check one thing because up to the beta 2, Everything was almost working fine apart from one issue that I was having and that was related to the M2 SSD installation that we did and it's about the reading and writing and while transferring the data back to the internal M2 SSD, not M2 but that's proprietary PlayStation 5's SSD. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on so just stay with me and make sure to hit the like on this video so this video maybe can go to Sony. I have already responded to those you know the bugs like what issue I'm experiencing but it's good to you know get it to more people so I'm gonna show you what's happening right here all right guys so this is the issue that I was having and I'm gonna show you what's going on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this uh, Astro's playroom game which is almost 11 gigabytes file size right 10.99 so just keep an eye on it I have the console storage then I have the M2 SSD, which is the Western Digital Black SN850. Uh, I have the video that I showed you guys when I installed this, right? So it's been working fine. I have the games on it and I've been like transferring and moving around and seeing how it's performing, whether it's getting heated up or not, or do I uh, get crashes or not. So none of those problems were happening, but one problem was happening. So I'm going to do it in real time to see if it is fixed with the beta update 3.0 or not. So we're going to go to console storage and in the games and apps, I'm going to move the Astro's uh, playroom. So we're going to go in there and we're going to select the item to move and it's going to be Astro's playroom. And you're going to see that I'm going to move this and it's going to go to the M2 SSD, which is the SN850 and it is moving as you can see it is fast it's in the real time and it has moved it within like 12 13 seconds in total so this game is now gone to the m2 ssd so we're gonna go to the m2 ssd now and we're gonna go to m2 ssd and you can see that it's in there now astro's playroom and it's 11.02 gigabyte file size it kept increasing i don't know why but Okay, we're gonna move this back to the internal PlayStation's proprietary uh, storage. And this is what's happening. Select item to move, we're gonna move this back to, and I don't know how it's gonna do it because I just installed the uh, beta 3.0. So before it was doing transfer like turtle slow back to the SSD, which is the built-in into the PlayStation 5, their proprietary, which on paper is faster than any SSD out there. So it should actually write faster on that internal, but see what's happening. And I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's try. So I'm gonna move it, click OK. It's going back to the internal storage. And you can see right there how slow it is moving. So in the case when you're moving the data out of the internal storage, which is the PlayStation 5's proprietary SSD, the data is going out to the M2 storage a lot faster which is the external, right? But imagine this is just the 10 gigabyte of file size. If you're transferring like uh, 30, 40, and in some cases like games gonna be 100 gigabytes of file size in case uh, you have Call of Duty, the new one that's coming out maybe around November, I, I believe it's gonna be over 100 gigabytes of file size. So it is slower for the internal when you're writing and it's faster when you're writing to the external, which is the, you know, the additional storage that you have for M2 SSD. Still, it seems a little bit faster than how it was before, but it's still slower. So um, maybe with the couple of more beta updates, it will become fine. That's why we are doing the beta testing. And uh, right now, if you're moving out of the internal storage to the M2 SSD storage, it is a lot faster. It's happening within seconds. And it's three times slower when you're moving it back to the internal storage. So we're gonna see what happens next. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Other than that, everything is working properly fine, have no issues playing games and they're not crashing at all. And loading speed is also amazing. So well, let's see, let's up, let's start the Ratchet and Clank. 
and this is installed on my M2 SSD storage drive and I haven't had any crashes so so far so good make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another one until then peace out